trying to find the right mic for your camera can be a pretty hard thing to do. Do I get a lav mic? Do I get a road mic? Do I get a DD mic? Do I get a Comica mic? <laughs> Don't get a Comica mic. But the DD D4 Duo is officially out. They just launched a product earlier this week and uh, I got my hands on it. So full disclaimer, DD is not sponsoring this video. They did send me the mic for me to play with and review, but they are not sponsoring this video whatsoever, so I get to say whatever I want. Gujibo. <laughs> but what I want to do is compare the DD D4 Duo and the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, and not just try to figure out which mic sounds better, but try to figure out which mic is the better mic for vlogging. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a cigar. I just saw the last dance. All right, so before we get to the comparisons, let's go ahead and talk about the D4 Duo. It is a very small mic. Definitely a lot smaller than the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. But with the D4 Duo, it's very reminiscent of the Rode Video Micro. It looks pretty similar in size, but the one thing that makes this mic stand out from all the other mics is the fact that there are two capsules that you can use to record audio. If you flip the switch forward, you can record audio coming from the front capsule. And if you flip the switch back, you can record audio using both ends of the mic. That feature alone is probably the reason to get the D4 Duo. And for a vlogger, like that's a godsend. All right, so now I'm vlogging with the D4 Duo and I'm using both capsules of the mic to record audio. And so say for example, I'm vlogging in the office and I wanna show you my perspective. Well, I'm gonna flip the camera around and you can still hear my audio because of that rear capsule. And it sounds pretty good. Now I'm vlogging with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus to capture audio and it should sound pretty good but now I want to turn the camera around and just kind of show you my perspective and I'll be still talking but the audio isn't going to sound good because there is no rear capsule in the back it just sounds just awful and I'm far away and just doesn't sound good but if I flip it around all right so now the audio should sound pretty good but that was a lot of effort to turn the mic around something to note that when you're capturing audio using the rear mic it is capturing audio 10 decibels lower than the front mic that's actually pretty helpful because if if you're filming a live event like a wedding reception and the music's too loud, well, chances are that audio is going to peak if you're using the front mic. But since the rear mic is recording audio at 10 decibels lower, then the audio captured from the rear mic will be a lot more usable than the audio captured from the front. The other thing that's unique about the D4 Duo is that there is an input audio jack so that you can connect a secondary mic. So say for example, you are shooting a wedding and you're capturing the vows, but you still wanna capture the ambiance of the crowd, especially when they clap after they kiss. Obviously very important to capture the vows. Well, if you're using a wireless lav, you can connect that to the input jack of the D4 Duo, which both are then connected to your camera. So now you're capturing two sources of audio at the same time, but you're not mixing the audio together because those audio sources are split into different channels. Then obviously in post you're gonna have to separate those channels so that you can isolate the vowels from the ambiance. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that setup looks like. So here is the DD D4 Duo, and this long cable is connected to my Sony A7 III. And here is the Rode Wireless Go, and that is connected to the audio input of the D4 Duo. On the left channel, you're going to hear the audio from the D4 Duo. Test, test, one, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. And on the right channel, you're gonna hear the audio from the Rode Wireless Go. Test, test, one, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. Since the audio from the Rode Wireless Go is on the right channel, you wanna make sure you fill the left channel with the right channel. So here in Premiere Pro, I'm gonna find a plugin called Fill Left With Right. There you go. And now I have audio from the Rode Wireless Go set to both channels. Same thing if you wanna use the audio from the rear mic of the D4 Duo, that's gonna be featured on the right channel. And so just apply that same technique as well. If you wanna use audio from the front mic of the D4 Duo, that audio is gonna be on the left channel. So in post, just fill the right channel with the left channel. There you go. And now you have audio from the front mic of the D4 Duo on both channels. Pretty cool. Honestly, this is such a good size mic to have, especially for a camera size like this. And even on my Sony a7 III, like I really like using the D4 Duo on my a7 III. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. It is such a good mic, but it does add to the bulkiness of my a7 III, which is why I much prefer using a mic of this size. Now, because this is a smaller mic and the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus has a longer capsule, does it mean that the Rode mic captures better audio? Oh. 
Let's find out. All right, so now we're gonna answer your questions about the D4 Duo, and uh, I'm just gonna do an audio comparison between the D4 Duo and the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus at the same time. And I'm just gonna answer your questions while filming indoors and outdoors so that you can hear the difference. Do, 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 do. All right, first question. All right, here we go. First question on Twitter. Do both sides have roughly the same effective distance, or is the front facing one a bit better at range than the rear facing one? Uh, great question. So yes, there is a difference between the two capsules. For the front facing microphone, it's meant to be held at further distances, where the rear capsule is meant for close proximity because it's recording audio at 10 decibels lower. This is really designed for capturing audio as you're speaking and showing the audience your perspective of the shot. And like I said before, the front capsule is meant to be for when you're capturing audio as you're vlogging normally, where the rear capsule is meant to be capturing your audio as you're narrating the scene when you turn the camera around. Uh, next question, should I upgrade from my Rode Video Micro and why? Is the audio quality better or is it just the extra features? Uh, I would refer you to watching Dunna's video. He made a video specifically on that topic where he compared the DD D4 Duo against the Rode Video Micro. And so definitely check out his video if you want to hear those comparisons. But from his video, I would say that the D4 Duo sounded better. And the fact that there are a lot more features on the D4 Duo, like the front mic and the rear mic and the switch and the extra audio input, like the D4 Duo is gonna be the better buy, at least in my opinion. I mean, the Rode Video Micro is, is cheaper, but still, like this mic is under $100. All right, so now we're outside and uh, it's not too windy. I don't really feel a breeze, but I'm gonna put the windscreen on the D4 Duo anyway. All right, here we go, next question. Let's see, all right, here we go. Would you pick this mic over a lav mic? Or where and how this mic would be better suited over a lav mic or mic like a Rode Wireless Go? That was like, that was like three questions in one. Uh, okay, so the first part, would I pick this mic over a lav mic? Uh, that depends. I mean, that's kind of comparing apples and oranges. They're different types of mics and they're used for different situations. For like 90% of the time, I would use a shotgun mic like a Rode VideoMic Pro Plus or the DD D4 Duo. But if I'm filming something like an interview or a wedding, then I would absolutely use a lav mic because it makes sense to use a lav mic in the situations. So there you go. Hopefully that answers all three of your questions. <laughs> all right, next question. Uh, how far can one be from the mic that the audio still sounds good without sounding distant and thin? thin. Is this mic intended mostly for close proximity audio, like in an interview talking head setting? Well, to answer your first question, uh, you don't really have to be that far from the mic to capture good audio. Like this is probably about, what, six, eight inches? Yeah, six, eight inches from my mouth. And this is the audio that you're hearing from the Deity D4 Duo. I'm looking at my audio levels and they look pretty strong. And so yeah, the audio is going to sound pretty good at this proximity. Now, if you're vlogging, you're going to be a little bit further away from the microphone. So you're probably going to be like about, what, arm's length? What's that? Like 28 inches? But let's just go ahead and do an audio test comparing both the mics as we're vlogging. All right, so now we're filming in my car. Uh, that kind of works out because I have to run a couple of errands real quick. I kind of want to see if the A7S III arrived yet. So now the audio that you're hearing is from the DD D4 Duo and we're driving in my car. The AC is not turned on because it's broken and it's just getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And now you're hearing the audio coming from the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and it's still getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Oh gosh, Texas, why are you so hot? Why are you so hot? Ah, oh, man, I gotta fix that AC. Or I might just get a new car. Maybe I'll do that. All right, be right back. Hopefully it's there. <sighs> Hasn't arrived yet. Not yet. Okay, so now we're in the kitchen and we're just gonna compare the mics here because it's a space that's pretty echoey and uh, we'll see how each mic performs. But I'm actually gonna make some coffee because I'm kind of waning. I don't really have one of those cool coffee makers or whatever, I just have a Nespresso. So I'm just gonna make some Nespresso. Here is our Nespresso collection and uh, the audio probably sounds pretty bad because the mic is not facing towards me. I should probably put the other mic on. Here we go, much better. So now you're listening to the audio from the D4 Duo and you could hear my audio with the front mic as well as the back mic because I'm gonna show you my little collection of Nespresso pods. I might go for this guy over here, the Malazio. And that's the beauty of the D4 Duo. You can hear audio from both ends of the mic. You know how people have like really cool coffee B-roll? Here's mine. 
Okay, so now we're gonna do an audio distance test and uh, we're just gonna find out which mic sounds better at a distance. Up uh, first is the DD D4 Duo and uh, here we go. It's about eight feet away. Hopefully the audio sounds pretty good. Now we're about 20 feet away. I don't know if this is a good idea. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, not a good idea. I'm gonna go all the way to the end. There you go, audio test. Test, test, one, two, three, can you hear me? There you go, audio test. Oh, let's try the rear mic, hold on. All right, flip the switch, uh, probably about two and a half feet away from the mic. Test, test, one, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. Let's go back more. Now about 12 feet, nope, eight feet away from the mic. Test, test, one, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. All right, so now we have the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and I'm about two and a half feet away from the mic. Test, test, one, two, three. Let's go back further. All right here, we're about eight, nine feet from the mic. Test, test, one, two, three. Does it sound good? Let's take it back even more. All right, back all the way at the fence. Audio test, 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 one, two, three. Can you hear me? And just for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna go behind the mic and uh, do an audio test. All right, so now we're behind the Rode VideoMic Pro. Plus, test, test, one, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. I bet the audio sounds pretty bad. All right, so some pros and cons about the D4 Duo. Uh, let's start with cons. The, the shock mount itself isn't very strong. Like, if you don't connect the audio cable to one of these slots, like, here, let me take it out. Just kind of jiggles, and I feel like it's gonna break. Uh, just make sure to connect your audio cable to one of these slots to prevent uh, this jiggle happening. Another con, especially since hearing the comparisons between the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, the, the audio is good, just not as good as the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. It's not bad at all by any means, and I still prefer using the D4 Duo as my vlog mic over the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. As long as the mic's not too far away from your mouth and you're speaking loudly and you do some proper EQing in post, your audio should sound good. And uh, and that's pretty much it as far as cons go. Like, I can't think of anything else. It is, it is such a good mic. Now, for the pros, there's freaking two mics in one, a front mic and a rear mic. I, I, don't, I don't know how you can beat that. Like that's, that's so good. Another pro, uh, obviously the, the input to connect a secondary microphone, that, that still blows my mind. Another thing I love about the D4 Duo is that you don't ever have to charge it because there's no battery in it. The mic just powers up when you connect the audio cable to your camera, that's it. And then the last thing I love about the D4 Duo is the size. Like it is so compact, it is so light, still capturing good audio, and I think it's perfect for traveling and for vlogs. Again, nothing to say bad about the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. I freaking love this thing. In fact, I'm probably gonna leave the, the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus as my studio mic. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And so if you already have a Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, don't feel bad. Keep it, it's a great mic to have. But if you don't have a mic, or if you're looking for a smaller mic to put into your backpack, then uh, I would definitely consider getting the Deity D4 Duo. And then really, if you're on a budget, then the D4 Duo is without a question the mic to get. Like the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus is what, what is it, over 200 bucks? Where the D4 Duo is under $100. Like if money is gonna be the deciding factor, then obviously it's gonna be the D4 Duo. All right, well that's the video I wanted to make today, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the D4 Duo. Did you think the Rode sounded better in the audio comparison, or did you think the D4 Duo sounded better? Either way, let me know in the comments below. But big shout out to DD for sending me the D4 Duo, and if you wanna get this mic for yourself, then link will be in the description below. Oh, all right, getting parched here, so I better wrap it up. Well, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Hit the bell so that you get notified for upcoming videos. Man, that has become so monotonous now. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm out. Peace. Ooh.